Hi, yes, it is Monday, and every Monday we welcome in a specialist from the Queens Medical Center. Today we're going to talk about cancer prevention with Dr. Kevin Dawson. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good to see you again. Thank you. So, you know, the summer sun is out, and uh, would you say that it's a bit stronger than it has been in previous years, and you need to cover up and put on more sunblock? Well, we're not sure if the sun's rays are getting stronger, but we do know that skin cancer rates are increasing, so definitely very important to keep yourself protected. So what kind of sunscreen would you recommend? Well, um, I usually tell people, rather than recommending brands and types, I usually tell people to look for three things in a, skin, in a sunscreen. Uh, first of all, you want to look for an SPF of at least 30. Okay. And SPF stands for sun protection factor, and it's roughly how much longer a person can stay in the sun without getting burned. Uh, but you also want to protect against aging rays, not just against the burning rays. So you also you want to make sure you're looking for a broad spectrum sunscreen. Uh, broad spectrum means that it will protect against UVA and UVB rays. So it should say that on the bottle, either broad spectrum or UVA and UVB protection. Okay. And should it say that on the front and the back, or just uh, usually look for it says somewhere? it somewhere on the front. Okay. And then you also want to look for something that's water resistant mm -hmm. or waterproof. There's really no such thing as waterproof in a sunscreen, but mm -hmm. if it says that, you can at least be sure that it will stay on a little bit better if you're sweating or if you're in the water. Now, um, you talked a little bit about the UVA, UVB. What kind mm -hmm. of ingredients should you look for when you are looking for a sunblock? Uh, the broad spectrum ingredients are things like titanium dioxide, zinc oxide. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an ingredient called um, parasol or avobenzone and that usually gives you good broad spectrum coverage. And there's a new one out called Encapsule, and that's in the uh, Antihelios products. Uh, that's a little harder to find, but uh, the, the first three are the, the ones that you really should look for. There's been recent reports of certain types of sunblock that actually contribute to skin cancer? The, yeah, that's a little controversial, mm -hmm. but uh, we do know that some of these sunscreen ingredients will break down as they get exposed to the sun. So. The best way to protect against that is to reapply your sunscreens. Uh, don't, don't put it on once and let it sit on all day long. Make sure you're reapplying at least every two hours when you're out in the sun. Okay. And wash it off when you're out of the sun. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Kevin Dawson. And you'll rejoin us a little bit later with some more tips on how to stay skin cancer free, especially during the uh, summer sun this summer. Sure. Thank you, Jai. Sure. We'll join you for that. We'll be right back right here on Wake Up Today. Top headlines coming up next.